Dan here from Bizarre Home Decorating, and today I'm going to go over removing shades. So with all the shades that you purchase from Bizarre, they either have a five-year warranty, if it's a motorized shade, or a 10-year warranty, if it's a manual shade. But to get that free repair, you have to bring the shade into us. And so we get asked a lot of times, how do I take that shade down? So we're going to go over how to take down the four, sh our four best insulating shades here right now. The first shade is the Sonette shade, which is an insulating roller shade. And up on the top, I, you will see there are two clear brackets here. Uh, Finn's pointing out, you don't really want to use a tool with this one because you don't want to scratch the woodwork. So you just want to take your finger and go across and push that tab over to the left-hand side. I'm going to push this tab over to the left-hand side. If the shade won't go up, you can leave it in the down position. And all we want to do is pull the shade forward. And that will remove the shade out of the brackets. So this, uh, this shade here still does work, so I'm going to roll it back up. But these are the tabs. You want to make sure that they stay to the left side. Bring the shade into us for repair. You get it back. Now all we want to do is make sure that this part here, this metal strip, will go in right in between the clear plastic and the gray piece of plastic. And to take that, I'm going to put it in both hands and just lightly go through it. Now I can see the tab here. I can see the tab here. And I'm going to take my hands right where the brackets are and push it back. It'll click. Everything now moved over to the right. To test it, I'm going to take my hand on the back of the shade and pull forward. And as I'm pulling forward, the shade's not coming down. And your shade is hung back up. For the duet shades, this one here, I'm going to pretend like it doesn't work. So I'm going to take the shade, I'm going to push it all the way up, and I'm going to hold it. Now with this, I'm able to hold it, and on the back side, there's going to be two brackets. And I'll show you what those look like here in just a second. Take a flathead screwdriver, and on the first bracket here, I'm going to take my screwdriver, put it up in between the bracket and the headrail, and I'm going to push. And you see the shade pop out? I'm going to take this, the screwdriver again, pop it out. The shade will pop out. And what you can do is you can grab two rubber bands, put one rubber band on this side, put one rubber band on this side, and now you can bring the shade into us. When you take the shade back out, before I get there, these tabs right here, this is, the, this is a tab and this is a tab. Um, these are the new brackets. I do also want to show you what that looks like on an older bracket because there are two other versions of this bracket. One would look like this, which has these prongs on here. So what you might see as you look up behind your shade, you might see two prongs like this. You take your flathead screwdriver and just push it like that. So you're, the bottom of the handle of Envision going towards the window. So it'd go like this. Or there's another bracket like this, very similar, push towards the window, and that shade will pop out. If I were to have three brackets or more brackets, what I'd want to do is pop the one end off, the other end off, hold the shade up, and then get the middle ones so that you still have that shade balanced. Now, as we go, I'm going to take this. We want to get this metal lip right here to click in right underneath the metal lip of the bracket and then roll it back into the window. And I'll do that. Just tilt it slightly, hold the shade in, and now I'm going to push back with my thumbs and you'll hear it click. And then this one, I'm just letting drop down because I, not, I didn't raise it back up. But you'll have to manually raise the, lower the shade. This is our Hunter Douglas Solera shade. Uh, it's an insulating shade, combination of a cellular shade and a Roman shade. It's going to come down very similarly to the way I just did the duet shade. So again, I'm going to take my handy dandy screwdriver, push it back, get that bracket to pop out, get this bracket to pop out. And now the shade's ready to be brought back in for repair. To get it back in, same setup. I'm going to want to make sure the bracket gets right underneath this lip right here. This lip here will get underneath here, and I'll click it in. 
and I'll press it up and I'll wait for the clicks. There's one. And then the other one did click in. And we can go ahead and test the shade. Now, for the fourth one, the vignette bracket, it's going to be a little bit different because this is the bracket that we have up here on our big head rail. And what I'm going to be doing is on this bracket here, as you look from the side, there's a little lock on here. To get it up, you want to push up in the back and then bring the screwdriver this way to pop that shade out. So you want to raise it up and pop the shade out. And that'll look like this. Oh, and as you're going through it, where you want to put your screwdriver is you'll see this hanging down. You put your screwdriver right in the middle of these two prongs. So just put your screwdriver up right here and push up. I'll take my screwdriver, I'll push up and pull back and push up and pull back. And then the shade's ready to be brought in. And on this one here, what we're going to want to do with the vignette bracket is get the bracket will go right in underneath where the fabric cover is. I'll turn it this way so you can see it. Where the fabric covering is, the lip will go right in there and then it'll click, it'll click into the bracket. Right now it just pushes straight back. So you don't really have to tilt this one at all on the vignette shade and we'll just push and then drop it down. And so that is how you take down for the Hunter Douglas Sonnet, Duet, Solera, and Vignette Shades.